So rather than pump oil all over the man's nice clean slab, I stuck the hose in my shoe. Good morning. First, I want to say I'm absolutely shocked that we've gained almost 25 subscribers in the last week. Um, thank y'all. Appreciate it. If you like this kind of content, share it with your buddy. And uh, we're going to be making a lot more of it come this summer. But I'm on my way to Moss Bluff, Louisiana right now, and we're going to be changing some steering seals. We videoed one of those the other day, so I won't get that much, that much in-depth on that. We'll just catch the high points. But uh, anyway, hang out. Okay, here we are at a customer shop. We got a Pro XS. He's got some steering seals leaking. Pretty bad. We're going to replace those. Uh, we have a nice, friendly dog. We have a nice, friendly dog who's willing to participate and help today. Uh, let me set the camera up where we can see what we're doing. Okay, let's get it off of all the things. Check the ram, make sure it doesn't have any cuts on it anywhere. It's been a while since I see one this bad. Anyway, I don't feel anything on it. Let me get to it. I'll do this a little faster today, in a little bit of a hurry. So I'm going to go get a towel. Okay. I covered the back of our boat up. Because these get a little nasty. I don't want to get all on this carpet. Boat does smell like fish, though. Most boats don't smell like fish these days. This is definitely the rush job of this. It comes in two different kits. I have one kit that just replaces the seals. And then I have another kit that replaces the seals and the internal guts of the ram just depends on how bad it's worn if it's got a crack in it or anything and what it needs to fix it with okay what we're going to do we're going to throw our gear oil bucket down here and we're just going to put some oil pads around and we're going to try to catch whatever mess comes out of there hopefully it ain't too too bad Do, you want to check this little piece right here and make sure that that's not split anywhere. Looks good. Then you look up inside there. It ain't perfect, but it's going to be all right.
That's said, a little bit different than I traditionally do it, or some people do, but I got one that's in this bad of shape. We try and take extra precautions. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in. Where it's supposed to be. I'm gonna go get us a seal kit. Okay, we got brand new seals and packing. Don't forget your seal guide slides over there. Make sure that don't go nowhere. Make sure your O-rings are in place. Not too much to these, especially if you have the tools for it. Relatively easy to rebuild. on that. Part where we gotta bleed the nasty thing. We'll put all this stuff up. We don't need it no more. This system's pretty low, so it's probably gonna take about two quarts, quart and a half, two quarts maybe. Get them out of the way. Put that in there. Okay, we're gonna start by. Trying to get our fluid fill tube in there. It's underneath that unit, so that's not going to be the easiest thing to do. But we're going to work on that. Perfect. take a little bit before we get enough fluid in it to do anything. You let all the air out you can up here. That's less you got to deal with when you get to the back.
like the dog done got bored with me, went and laid back down. That open far enough that it's easy to get the air out of it. You know, sits in fighting with it. Small bubbles that you see, they'll work their way back out the helm but with a fishing trip or so. Mainly worried about the big stuff, big blast right at the beginning. It's feeling pretty good. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Few good burst. Got to change our bottles here. We'll close it off. All right. We'll leave that right there for a minute. Cycle the steering several times. Get the fluid against it. Make sure the whole system is full. Give the motor a shake. Ah, steering's getting tight. We need to fix his idler. You can see it right there. They get wore over time, so you gotta come right here with an Allen wrench and you just gotta loosen them up a little bit. It's got a clamp on it. Loosen it up enough where you can turn it. Gotta go find some channel locks because this one's seized on the motor. turns there until it's tight then you take your wrench is that showing up yeah that's showing up take your wrench and you tighten that back down the best way you can that's it we're gonna clean up our mess wipe the motor up leave them some oil pads on the floor and close the shop up and get out of here. All right, so me and Brooklyn had to go get me a new pair of shoes because I had a little incident today where my oil extractor decided it was gonna pump out and not suck in. So rather than pump oil all over the man's nice clean slab, I stuck the hose in my shoe and uh, Made sure it didn't get on his slab, ruin my shoes. But anyway, got me a new pair of shoes, and uh, I think we're going to call this a day. That's enough for one day.